Today's video is a review of the My High Infrared Sauna Blanket. It's basically an electric blanket that you'll lay in and it allows you to sweat out toxins, emulating the sauna experience. I'm not sure about you, but I've been familiar with electric blankets over the years, but I hadn't heard of a sauna blanket. It retails for $474 on their site and ships directly from their Dallas warehouse. This blanket has waterproof inner layers, making it really easy to wipe down. With this product, they claim that you can burn between 300 to 600 calories per session. Here's a graphic displaying numerous benefits of this infrared sauna blanket. On their site, they have a bunch of user experience reviews, and you'll see mine as well. So this is what the packaging looks like. It just arrives in this large black box. When you open it up, this is what it looks like on the inside. So this is what the user guide looks like. Right off the bat, they have three pages of safety information, which I would recommend that you go over before using this product. Next, they talk about how to use the blanket. They also talk about a few of the health benefits, what's included in the box. So the blanket is fully enclosed in this tote carrying bag. It does have a long strap and a drawstring closure. So here is the blanket with a synthetic leather outer cover. We also have the controller and power cable. The length of this blanket is six feet long and they have a max recommended user height of six and a half feet. So here is where we attach the power cable. So to turn it on, I'm just gonna press the power button right here. And there are nine temperature settings. They recommend that you start off on temperature setting four just to get accustomed to it. And you can also adjust the time. They recommend 30 minutes to 60 minute long sessions. So today I'm just gonna do a 30 minute session. So this blanket takes 10 to 15 minutes to fully get to temperature. So this is my first impression opinion on this product. Currently, I'm 30 minutes into using it. I do have it bumped up at the highest setting, which is a nine. So this is what the blanket situation looks like. Ideally, you do wanna keep your arms in the blanket, but I have it all the way up close to my chin area. But if you are like me and like to multitask while you're doing something, then, I mean, obviously you could keep your arms above it and go on your phone or read a book or something like that. Right now I do have it on the highest setting. I did start it off on setting four, but it wasn't hot enough for my taste. But yeah, I currently have it on setting nine. I already finished the initial 30 minutes, but I wasn't as sweaty as I had thought I would be. I noticed that the heat source is mostly centralized down the middle of this blanket. So you do kind of want to keep your legs straight in front of you and not like on the side if you want to get the most heat. For the first 30 minutes, I didn't feel too much. It mostly just felt like you're in an electric blanket. But right now I can tell that my legs are actually getting sweaty. Luckily there is an easy to wipe down waterproof section, so it doesn't really matter if you sweat because you can easily just wipe it down. My face is starting to feel a little bit more flushed and yeah, literally like how you would feel if you are in a sauna. I think this is part of the process where you kind of want to fight it. You want to get out and cool yourself off because like that's a natural inclination and reaction to do. But I think if you just push through it and have some patience that the results can be pretty good. So I currently did 40 minutes worth of this infrared sauna blanket. And for me, I feel like that's enough, especially to start with. This is my first time going to a sauna or doing a sauna type thing in years, actually. I'm going to remove the blanket. Not sure if this is TMI, but there is noticeable sweat on my legs, so I feel like it did a pretty good job. So this is what the blanket looks like once I got out of it. As you can see, once again, it does have this nice waterproof material, which obviously I will wipe down with a damp washcloth. My face is definitely a little bit more flushed. So I just finished my second time using the sauna blanket. This is what I wore to use it. I just wore shorts and a short sleeve shirt. I first started it off at heat setting nine, which is the highest that they have. Then once I got in, I turned it down to seven and I stayed there for 20 minutes. I would highly recommend to drink a bunch of water before doing this. I didn't do that this time and I can only last 20 minutes without feeling like I have a headache. 
This product definitely takes patience. It also works best if you're in a relaxed state while doing it and have the time to kill and just chill out. You also have to be willing to sit through the discomfort because obviously the first inclination you get when you start to get hot is how to cool yourself off. It's great because it's convenient, you can do it at home, it's a one-time cost, and it has a bunch of health benefits as well. So anyways, that should do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like this video, comment down below, what do you think of this product? If you're not already, subscribe if you like content like this, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.